Hi lads, welcome back to the tutorial today. Very quick one on how to make a v-neck line. So, okay, this is the fabric I'm working with. And well, uh, I have the front and the back here. So I'm going to just take out the back because I only need the front here. And and I'll introduce my uh, my measurement. Okay, I want the v-neck, the, the material that I'm going to use to be 1.5 inches on that place so that's what i'm marking i'm taking in 1.5 inches and okay normally the neckline i'm working with is seven inches that's what i'm showing you so of course i'm also going to go down from there and also mark the 1.5 i want that one to be 1.5 so that's what i'm marking and i'm going to connect the lines together as shown but before i cut this out i need 0 0.5 joining allowance and that is what i'm marking i'm going out by 0 0.5 all down and i will connect it and i'll also trim that part off i need it to join into the black one so i'm introducing the black one here and uh in total it is four inches but on fold it is two inches remember i said i want it to be 1.5 so this is but here i have two inches that is 0 0.5 to join it to the neckline that is what i'm showing you so that is the half inch to join it to this place and okay i'll open it up and uh, merge it front side facing the right side right side facing the right side and i'll pin it down so just the way i'm doing i'll place this one on top of it I'll, at random like there's no definite measurement so but what i have there i have about two inches you know so i'll also trace out the shape there the v-shape that i have there but remember that on this main dress i already have 0 0.5 so joining allowance so and that's what i'm marking you know already that included in this v-shape that i marked is the sewing allowance the joining allowance just like i'm showing you so that's the allowance there and that's what i marked so in order to get the main measurement i'm coming down by 0 0.5 so that's the main one before the allowance and i'm going to mark it out you know connect it with my v-shape and i'll take it to my sewing machine and sew on that place and this is what i have so i'm going to trim off uh, the allowance the excess that i have and i will notch the midpoint just like i'm doing notch the midpoint to that 0 0.5 as shown just like this so you know just follow me the way i'm doing this is what you would do take it to your ironing board and iron it then on the main fabric too, I'm also notching down that place 0.5. And I'll position this V to V, pin it just the way I'm showing you. Then take it this way and, uh, you know, sew by that 0.5 sewing allowance. And, okay, right from behind, you see it. I sewed it from the behind, 0.5. Sew it there. When I'm done, I'll also drag the other side towards this way. You can go ahead and secure yours with a pin. And also take it to my sewing machine and sew it from that part with the 0 0.5 also. And this is what I have after sewing it. It's, it's not very simple. Even without ironing it, look at how straightened it is. So, okay, this is an extra. If you want to introduce your lining, this is how you do it. So, right side facing right side. I've already marked the shape of the, the main fabric on the lining. I mean, I've already trimmed off that 1.5 on the lining. So, okay, just follow what I'm doing. I will notch the center of the lining to, to the 0 0.5, 0 0.5. I will notch the center just as seen. And from that point, I'm going to merge it at the point, drag it up to this side, and uh, you know, sew it with the 0 0.5. You can sew it on the initial seam you have, and that is all. So with this, we've come to the end of this. I hope you enjoyed the class. If you did, please subscribe to this channel like and share and that is all it's very neat thank you very much for staying with us remember i'm still uche bye